The historic and ever so beautiful Williamstown Lime opened in January of 1859. Opening alongside the Geelong and Werribee lines, it today serves 12 stations from Flinders Street. In this video, we cover seven stations, and now we head to Seddon. Seddon Station opened on the 10th of December in 1906 and has 461,000 passengers. These current station buildings replaced timber buildings in 1981. Automatic signalling opened here in 1927, which replaced the original block signalling, which closed in 1912. The majority of the big building on Platform 1 is disused with the only thing still in use, small waiting room and of course the market readers. <coughs> Seddon Station is very nice and peaceful, but now let's go to Yarraville. Yarraville Station opened on the 20th of November in 1879 and has 977,000 annual passengers. Now, at the northern end of the station, there was a goods yard on the end of Platform 2 that opened in 1883 and expanded in 1912. Now, the Summerton Road overpass to the north of the station right there opened in 1970 and 21 years later, the goods siding closed in 1991. There are some old tracks at the end of the platform so and I don't know if they were anything but who knows that disused signal box closed in 1996 and this beautiful level crossing had boom gates in 1995 I just say the station buildings and some of the buildings surrounding the station are just really beautiful and this station may be the best on the line. We'll have to wait and see. And now, let's move to a bit of Spotswood. Spotswood Station opened on the 1st of December 1878 and has 329,000 annual passengers. The station has had four names. First named Edom, renamed to Bayswater in 1881, renamed one month later to Spottyswood, and finally Spotswood in 1905. The station was once home to two sidings, one on each side of the station. The siding to the north of the station went to the Australian glass manufacturers but the last sand train to go through the siding was in 1998. The sidings to the southern end of the station served the Newport Power Station, as well as many oil factories. The station also serves science works. And here, got another disused signal box and boom gates were added to this level crossing in 1989. And the subway entrance was opened nearly a hundred years ago in 1926. Now, let's head to good old Newport. Newport Station opened on the 1st of March in 1859 and has just under 1.29 million passengers annually. This historic station was first opened as Geelong Junction renamed to Williamstown Junction in 1869 and finally Newport in 1881. Trains first came really close to Newport in 1857 when the Geelong line was built to Greenwich which is south east of the station alongside North Road. It's the junction station between the Williamstown and Werribee lines and V-line trains from Geelong and Warrnambool or to Geelong and Warrnambool stopped here until 2015 when the regional rail link was built. Now there have been several calls for a Melbourne Metro 2, which is a tunnel from the northeast at Clifton Hill all the way to Newport. We may see it in the future, I'm not too sure. Let me know if you want to see a video on it soon. Now when passing the station just like me, you probably wouldn't notice that there is a line behind Platform 1. Now this line behind Platform 1, which is behind the station building, 
was opened in 1966 and serves the Adelaide line, which goes to Adelaide. <laughs> This Melbourne Road overpass was completed in 1960 and I think it's time to go to our next station. North Williamstown Station opened on the 1st of February 1859 and has 349,000 annual passengers. The car park area to the east of the station has been called for multiple times to be converted to residential apartments. I don't know. And boom gates were added to Ferguson Street level crossing in 1967. And now, if you walk to the north of the platforms, you will see the most amazing thing and the best thing about this station. Covered up are uh, the brand spanking new HCMT trains which will be coming very shortly and on the journey towards the station from the north you can even see them getting painted if you're lucky. And now let's move to Williamstown Beach Station. Williamstown Beach Station opened on the 7th of August in 1889 and has a peaceful 204,000 annual passengers. The station was first named Beach but was renamed to Williamstown Beach in 1915. This might be the quietest station in Melbourne with no level crossing for 500 metres and just the sounds of the birds. There are some historic buildings on the Williamstown line and these are no different. They are very much the same as they were 133 years ago, built in 1889. And now, we only have one more current station to go, and that is Williamstown. Williamstown Station officially opened on the 1st of February in 1859 and has annually 165,000 passengers. Works began on a Tim Belt Williamstown Station in 1858 and the first official train at the station was on the 17th of January in 1859. It's the second oldest station building in Victoria behind St Kilda, but you might have to check me on that. <laughs> it is, however, the oldest surviving timber station in Victoria. Those bad boys were built 164 years ago. Now that's amazing. It's the only station on the line with one platform and the footbridge I'm walking on was built around 1883, 137 years ago. The overhead shelter used to extend both ways much further along the platform and the station I believe is the 8th least busiest station in Melbourne. And now, before we end the video, we can't forget probably the most cool thing about this line and that is that it used to go a little bit further. We have good old Williamstown station but if you come down you'll see through a few trees the track used to keep going this sign right here has some great information on the Ann Street footbridge which is right there and a great photo showing a train going into Williamstown Pier which we're going right now so Williamstown Pier station opened in 1905 and primarily served the Williamstown docks used as a, I guess, pickup for lots of goods to go to Melbourne and out of Melbourne. There are pretty much no remnants of the line today. This is primarily due to all sleepers and tracks being removed in 1988. This is because in early 1987 there was a bad derailment due 
to the really hard curve in the track to get to the station and the pier. Today, the line serves as a reserve, which is beautiful for a nice walk along the beach, which is just there. This car park would have been the site of the station. Obviously, there's absolutely nothing there, but it's a pretty cool part of Melbourne's train history and another close station. And now, let's head back to Williamstown. And there you have it. The Williamstown line, all finished. Now, we have an outro. Thank you guys for watching another video. Like and subscribe if you did enjoy, and as always, let me know down below of any video suggestions or feedback. Now, there is potential for a 1000 sub special Q&A video, and if you wanna drop a question, there is a link down below. This has been The Tray Man, and until next time, goodbye.